Hey guys, so in spirit of the new IT movie coming out, I will be doing the filming locations for the 1990 movie. Now it was uh, advertised as a mini-series because it came out on TV as a, in fact, two-part series. However, it is one, one movie. It included a cast of some very big names in the uh, movie. One of them being John Ritter, who passed away. Uh, Seth Green was in there, yep, Seth Green, and uh, of course Tim Curry played It. So in the movie, which was from 1990, the town was set in Maine. Now the movie's not even filmed in Maine, it's not filmed anywhere near Maine. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the locations today, and the 2017 movie is using a entirely different area to film as well. I'll get more to that later though. Perhaps we'll do a follow-up video with that. However, uh, some of the locations are pretty good. You're going to see that they haven't changed too much in, what is it, 27 years. But uh, there has been some changes and I'm pretty excited for the new movie coming out as well. Let's have a look at some of these. This is Bill's house. The one thing that has changed is the window trims would have all been painted blue. Right around here. It's Bill's house. Alright, and this would have been Ben's house. He had been sitting on the porch with his mom right in this house. And the moment you've been waiting for, one of the best scenes in it is when Georgie Makes paper boat right about here. Sets it down and let's retrace the steps. Paper boat's floating, floating down the curb. And it ends up in the sewer drain. This sewer drain right here. That's where it happened. And in the movie, this uh, corner right here, in fact, you can actually see this sign in the background. This pole still here, great scene. Would have happened all right here. All right, so this is Lorianne's house. Now she would have been riding a tricycle up this uh, sidewalk here in front of this house. Little Lorianne on her tricycle, right here, and uh, the house hasn't changed too much in terms of the structure. Obviously, they repainted it. Uh, you can tell by the uh, chimney here that uh, it's the same house, just with the windows and the structure as well. Let's go have a closer look. So yeah, Lorianne would have been uh, riding her tricycle around in this corner right here. And then, here comes the good part. She would have stopped right in front of these stairs here. Right behind me. That's the staircase she would have stopped. Her mom was hanging up the clothes, if you remember. And uh, she noticed that something's wrong. Sorry, I'll block the sun here. Now she's hanging the clothes and Lorianne's tricycle sitting there. She has the scare of her life. So these staircases right the staircase right here. Again, people live here, so I can't get too close, but here's a view from the other side of it. Towards here. See in the background here that uh, there's these two goal posts. This is a soccer field. Here's a look at uh, the Dairy Inn. Now this actually is an inn. Right in that garage we would have seen a red vehicle. 
very old building by the looks of it. So this is the house that adult Mike would have lived in. This house right behind me. So in front of this school here on this uh, gravel field is where Bill and Mike would have been riding their bikes. You would have seen him riding on the bike right in front of these windows here. And you'll see that the goalpost is still there. And these three trees, after 27 years, still looks pretty much the same. So they would have been riding their bikes right out here. Now this would have all been dirt in front of me and there would have been a red teeter-totter right about here. But uh, this uh, entrance to the uh, doorway looks the same, that A-frame there, as well as the pipe here. A lot of it uh, still looks the same, except for uh, basically the uh, ground, which would have been dirt. All around here, and uh, you can tell you can see this building in the background as well. So now we're in front of Beverly Marsh's house, and you can see from these uh, power lines on both sides, this is definitely her neck of the woods. So she would have been standing right about here, looking at the doors. She would have come running out here, turns around to see it the clown, Pennywise, sitting right there. He would have then gone through the door on the right. She would turn around, and suddenly all the windows would have been boarded up, and the doors. Now in the movie, the uh, outside where it's green here is actually all red. And these doors are a uh, greenish color. Well, that was really fun. Out of my videos so far, I think that's probably the most locations for one movie. And a uh, huge shout out to Adam the Woo, also known as the Daily Woo. Uh, I know you covered uh, that one last location as well. Uh, you did a lot better than me, so don't think I'm copping you, but uh, huge shout out to you. I appreciate your work.